Baby Mama as X. Hello lovelies, welcome to Night Free Formula. My name is Freedom, thank you for joining me today. So in today's episode, this is um, part two of a three-part series that I'm doing on the narcissist um, and how they feel about their baby mamas. Um, it was a viewer question um, and I'm doing it in three parts because there is differences between how they treat the primary supply um, and how they treat the ex and how they treat the side chick. Alright, so this particular video is for you if you are the baby mama uh, and the ex. So the narcissist will treat the baby mama with a certain level of disdain. Um, you know, because let's face it, you represent someone who either got away or was discarded and it represents a level of failure um, to the narcissist. So, and that in their mind is your fault, not their fault. So, you know, there's going to be this kind of level of animosity that runs towards you. Um, everything that does go wrong with your child will be, in their mind, your fault. However, um, everything that goes right with your child, you know, whether they're intelligent, beautiful, talented, um, you know, smart, all of that stuff, uh, that's all <laughs> in the narcissist's mind, that's all because of them. So don't think that they're going to give you any kind of um, rewards or, um, you know, feedback about your, your the good job that you're doing as a mother. What they will do though, is they will use you as a secondary source of supply. So when their new supply, who they are triangulating you with, so essentially, you know, having a baby mama in the background is a great kind of subliminal threat to any new supply that he's got on the scene. Um, she'll be looking over her shoulder. She'll be worried about, um, you know, you and he getting back together. Um, you know, because he's going to be hinting and making little comments about the time you guys shared to get fuel from her, essentially to get her sweating bullets, to get her working really hard to be with him, uh, to be thanking her lucky stars. So he's going to be triangulating you with her. Um, and he's also going to be training her by pointing out all of your flaws, you know, so that's, and at the times that he's talking about that this is you know you're in his mind so you're on one of his narc spheres um, and when he's thinking about you and using you as a training tool essentially he'll be telling her you know oh she did this she did that I didn't like it this is why we broke up so the new supplier will be making little mental notes about okay I've got to not do this and I've got to not do that otherwise we'll break up so he uses you as a training tool however like I said, you know, the same, the opposite also occurs. So when she is playing up and not providing fuel the way she's supposed to, or if she's created a narcissistic injury, that is when he's going to reminisce upon how it was so much better with you and how you're a much, you know, better mother, person, lover, etc. in general. Um, so he will use you to kind of um, to, like I said, train her, control her, and also to still, he, you know, kind of reminisces at times. Um, you know, it's just playing mental games. It's all just triangulation. None of it's real, and it's always fleeting. This is the other thing, you know, when you have any video that says, how does a narcissist feel? I mean, you really need to add a clause or a caveat which says, um, part of the time they're going to feel this way and the other part of the time they're going to feel the complete opposite because narcissists are not um, consistent with anything you know they are very emotional they go with how they feel um, and when they feel bad about you they feel good about her and when they feel good about um, you they feel bad about her and that's just the way it goes with the narcissist so um, the exes kind of cop it a little bit hard I mean it also depends who he's talking about you with you know so he'll probably get some fuel especially if you're you know still good looking or you're still smart or you know whatever if you've got 
a little bit of anything kind of going in your favor um you know he'll use that for bragging rights with his new buddies and all that stuff once again it fuels them you know so if he's got a whole string of gorgeous ex baby mamas i mean that's you know fueling him left right and center a narcissist more than anyone do tend to have a string of baby mamas um the vast majority of them don't pay child support and don't do the right thing by their children if they do if they are the rare type of narcissist that actually does the right thing um, there's always a kickback or a payback they don't ever do anything for no reason even if they're doing it just to show you that you are wrong you know sometimes like for example if a narcissist has all the money in the world right they're going to pay they don't you know that they're going to pay the money just to be right just to be seen as you know he 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 did the right thing he looked after those kids he never you know did the wrong thing or stepped a foot out of line a narcissist is that stubborn like i said if they've got all the money in the world um you know you can't it's that old saying of you know you, you can't um, buy your reputation well in the narcissist's mind they can you know if they've got the money they can buy their reputation so if they are the type that spoils the children like i said they're going to be doing it in public so they'll make a big song and dance about turning up you know at the kids birthday party with an arm full of presents and yay daddy's here you know and um that kind of huge public display of affection um and grandiosity that is a typical narcissist narcissistic uh, gift you know gift giving once again it's not about the child you know it's not about the child um, there's always something that they're gaining from that the, the vast majority of them like i said are kind of deadbeat dads and as the ex like i said you will at times if you're not careful you know you will be the whipping boy they will you, take out their frustrations on you because you are connected to them you are kind of trapped in in their minds and in reality you know you are kind of trapped um actually i'm going to pin a another video here about how to do no contact gray rock parenting like a boss because a lot of people you know are stuck in these awful god awful situations where they think they're co-parenting with narcissists but you're actually not you know and it's just it's toxic and it's fueling the narcissist but there is a way around it so i'm going to pin the video here um and the next video in this series is for how they feel about the baby mama um as a side chick so if you're interested in hearing more about that click this video here all right lovelies thanks for listening bye